So this session is about paper and board finishes and through this session we're going to talk about wire finishes are added to products and specifically paper and board products and we're going to go through some of the finishes that are applied to paper and board specifically lamination, embossing, foil blocking and varnishing. So firstly why are finishes added to products? Now finishes are added to lots of different types of materials and lots of different types of products but basically they are added for two reasons okay one is to improve the aesthetics of the product to make it look better and the other is effectively to prevent protect it from some sort of damage now if we want to make it look better we might be adding varnish to make it look glossy or shiny if we want to make it look better um, we might also be talking about adding chrome to a bumper to make it uh, look shiny and nice and make our car look more pleasant. Now if we're talking about protecting the items, again we might be protecting them from rust, we might be protecting them from other forms of oxidation or degradation or we might just want to make them a little bit more hard or scratch resistant. Now the first paper and board finish I'm going to talk about is lamination. Now the term lamination can literally mean bonding materials together. So I can laminate any two materials together, normally with glues or resins. Okay. Now you might know it more in terms of the school use of lamination is laminated products. We always think about those sort of paper or car based products that have got a plastic coating around the edge. So you might have looked around your school and you've seen uh, posters on the walls and things that have got a plastic coating. Now this is lamination in the sense of a, a paper and board product. So what effectively happens is a piece of paper is passed through a lamination machine and it's sandwiched between two pieces of polymer. The polymer is heated so that it bonds the two layers together. So what you end up with is a product that is possibly a little bit glossy or maybe a matte finish on the outside but it also protects it from things like uh, moisture and uh, smudging of the ink and things if people were going to touch say a poster that was uh, put around the school. Now the second thing I'm going to talk about is embossing. Now embossing you might know as raised textures on paper and board products so as you can see in the image we've got kind of like a, a, a royal stamp there uh, and you can see that the um, uh, the unicorn and the lion there around the crown are sort of sticking out or embossed around the um, coming out of the paper or coming out of that cardboard piece. Now this is done effectively by using dyes. So you can see some dyes there on the image that say 2002. There's a there's a bottom uh, male die and a, a top female die. And if you push those two dies together around about a, a piece of paper or a piece of card then the card's going to obviously be formed and be pushed into those shapes to create that raised texture. Now if we was doing this on a large scale what we probably have is this die pattern uh, wrapped around the roller so that it can run a sheet or a roll of paper through the dies and it will continue embossing the shape over and over again. Okay, It's a bit like a, a printing process in this, in this case if you want to produce lots of prints of the same thing it would go through those rollers. Now foil blocking, you may have noticed on things like high quality packaging um, where they're obviously trying to use the packaging to encourage people to purchase the products. Okay, um, What it effectively is, is exactly what it says. It is blocking the foil or placing the foil on top of the packaging. Now foil, we might know of say aluminium foil that you, you might use uh, in the kitchens, but it's basically a shiny thin piece of metal that is applied to the top of the um, uh, the paper or board material there to give it that shiny high quality finish and presumably raise the value of the product inside or encourage people to buy the product. The last finish I'm going to talk about is varnishing and specifically for paper and board UV varnishing. Now varnishing you've probably heard of, uh, I don't know, your parents may have a fence at home or some furniture that they've applied varnish to. Now for paper it's not uh, too different effectively and it literally is a uh, a varnish based material is sprayed or uh, applied to the top surface of the the card the main difference here is the UV part now UV or ultraviolet light okay is used in the UV varnishing process to cure the varnish so the, the varnish is sprayed on and the, the, the paper and board product it is moved along on a conveyor belt where the UV light is shined on the top and will then cure the varnish and make it so it doesn't smudge or um, get damaged. Now, you might that's the end of the video for today. You may want to test yourself on some of the topics at the end.